construction and Seattle's SR99 tunnel is in full gear. The stacked roadway taking shape. And the end is now in sight for the aging Alaskan Way viaduct. Right after the new tunnel opens, demolition crews will start removing the viaduct section by section. It's something Washdot has done before. The southern mile of the viaduct was demolished in 2011. That project was very successful, and we completed it ahead of schedule. Demolition of the central waterfront, the northern mile of the viaduct, is going to be very challenging. The viaduct is built over city streets. There's utilities underneath the viaduct. In some places, the viaduct is built within inches of buildings. Safety is Washdot's number one priority. So the contract to demolish the viaduct will ensure that we protect buildings, infrastructure, and people in and around the job site, and we'll maintain access to the ferry terminal. So right now, Alaskan Way actually lies underneath the viaduct. A first order of work on the contract will be to shift that traffic to the west, along the west curb line of Alaskan Way. That will allow us to maintain traffic on Alaskan Way throughout construction. We will always have at least one lane of traffic traveling in each direction, and we'll maintain turn lanes into the Seattle Ferry Terminal. Demolition could take up to nine months, so we will incentivize the contract to beat that schedule. This project is about replacing an out-of-date roadway with a much safer tunnel. And Seattle will be transformed along the way. Once the viaduct is gone, the city can rebuild Alaskan Way and complete its vision for a new, revitalized waterfront.